Hello and welcome back friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we had some kind of bigger fight with a level 21 demon. This was quite challenging and as you can see uh, Camellia didn't come out as happy. <laughs> um, but anyway got out of the fight and we found a lot of slabs with green symbols. We probably will need them for some um, puzzles. Let's see where we'll, where we'll do something. Also, we got two really strong short swords. I mean, one really strong short sword that gives you... Um, electricity damage and reduces and and overcomes all damage reduction which is uh really strong i think okay there is also an exit let's let's look at this place if we exit See if there is something else here. Hmm. Found some loot. Some money. Oops. More loot. Can't hide from me. A light shield plus one. Hello. Can we just take loot? Thank you. Ooh, a thousand six hundred and eighteen gold coins. That's nice. A topaz ring, and what's this? Holy water. Look at that. You can throw a flask of holy water as a splash weapon in a range increment of 10 feet. A direct hit deals 2d4 points of holy damage to an undead creature on the outsider. Okay. So this is good for another loot thing. Okay. Nice. Okay, nothing more. Let's exit the area then. <laughs> Ooh, uh. We also found some demon blood. I don't know what to do with this. Let's just see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in this direction is green gates um So, Grimwood, where we have to go with Grey Boar. Um, mm -hmm. But we all 
so have to go to winter sun but to winter sun we only get fruit only hmm. this is not beautiful um we could also go back to dresden because there is some um Something will have to do with Europe now. Yeah. Let's just go to the citadel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Anivia, Commander, I've got some information that might be of personal interest to you. It's up to you what you do with it. Personal interest? What do you mean? I mean that we're not talking about military or political matter here, but rather a matter of the heart. Okay. Soldiers have been gathering in the graveyard to play cards. We usually turn a blind eye to such things. Though it's against regulations, we let them enjoy themselves as long as they don't cause too much trouble. And that's usually the case. But recently, my people have noticed Sociel among them, and the gambling seems to be having an unhealthy F effect on him. As you know, I usually keep my nose out of other people's private affairs, with all these spies and cultists, I have too much on my plate as it is. But I know you're close to him, so maybe you should be something. Up. You should do something about it. This isn't an official report; just a tip off from a friend. Thank you for the information. You're better off not meddling in the personal affairs of others, as am I. You're welcome. Okay. Night gamblers. Really? Wait. What? Darren. Ah, the overwhelming fragrance of roses hits you as soon as you enter the headquarters. Roses occupy every inch of available space. Fresh and sweet smelling. As if they have just come into bloom. The scene is capped off by Darren, who stands in the center of this rosarium, with a single red rose in his hand and an expression of utter innocence on his face. Ah, Slat got fast. It's so good you dropped by. As you can see, I've been working on a little something, and I'm afraid some of your advisors are less than happy about it. Ah, oh, come on. Sure, if by a little something you mean an entire shipment of freshly cut roses teleported here from some southern country. Europe shifts from foot to foot, glaring at the flowers, pressing it from all sides. You could have outfitted an entire unit with the money you spent on this. Fortunately, they were my own personal funds, so I spent them as, it, as I saw fit. Gloomy Citadel needed an injection of beauty. Aaron brings his crimson rose to his face and inhales its scent, his eyes never leaving yours. Okay, so he's probably interested in me anyway, although he said he's not. 
That's none of my business, of course. But I've known you a long time, there in Aaron Day. The, this whole thing looks like another scandalous scunt, stunt concocted right up the Crusaders. If you want to pay court to the commander, don't do it in our headquarters. <laughs> oh. Do you have something to say to that count? Mirabeth, see that these roses are taken away. Another stunt like, yeah, okay. Let's do the middle ground. Tragic understanding has occurred. Thing is, I had no intention whatsoever of courting the commander in the romantic sense of this word. It never even crossed my mind. I do not know what led you to such a partial illusion. Aaron holds the rose with the utmost delicacy, waving it gently from side to side. According to recent research conducted by Absalom scholars, the scent of roses reduces stress and fatigue, refreshes one's thoughts, stimulates intellectual activity. So I only had the good of the crusade in mind when I placed these flowers here. My actions were entirely selfless and sincere. <laughs> Either way, it's a wonderful gift. Pluck a petal from the rose in Darren's hands. I can't wait to learn more about the unique properties of roses. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't want to flirt with this guy. He's so pretentious. It never crossed your mind, you say? Well, in that case, it won't ever cross my mind to fill your bedroom with crates of pretentious Why should we? I couldn't care less about roses. Darren, let's get this straight. I have no romantic interest in you whatsoever, so please stop this. <laughs> okay, let's take the second one. Why not? Let's let's flirt with him. Let's do this. I mean, we are a fox. He's an Asimar. Um, I shall be happy to share my knowledge someday on the more amenable circumstances. I do believe my work here is done. Till next time, Barty Bartfast. Really? Okay. Darren's gift, an intoxicating yet delicate fragrance, rises from the rose petals. Okay, let's talk to Irabeth because there was some quest we can do with her. No, we can't. So, ah, uh, so it turns out the queen, no. What's this? Something I forgot there. Hmm. How do we give her orders to do more? Mm -hmm. Let's do this because um, we will. We will build some buildings right now. Because the engineer's thing will be done by now. So everything else should be cheaper. Ooh, a lot of stuff. No events. But a lot of these. Strengthening diplomatic corrections. Another decree is being enacted for this step. Helping those in need. <sighs> By spending the funds for the crusade to those in need, the com commander will raise morale of the army and show that good deeds are more important for him than pompous ceremonies. Okay. 
we can't do all of the leadership. This one needs logistics. Another decrease being enacted for this seat. Not enough resources. Okay. Group of Crusaders has been subjected to the pollution that has turned them into giants. It's now difficult for them to live among their former comrades. Ooh, materials points income increases by two. Nice. Wait for plunder. That's 11,000 finance points, 500 materials points, and 100 energy points. Hmm. Okay. So we have uh, diplomacy, uh, logistics, and uh, military. Is this military? Whatever. The fourth military, yeah. Leadership. Why? Why is there no leadership stuff? There isn't leaders, leadership. Enough res ah, because we have not enough resources. Okay, distributing provisions. So we would need some material points. Is there a leadership stuff here? I mean, we should do all of the four all the time, if possible. Nothing else. Okay, we need material points. Let's buy some material points then. Oops, a bit too much. Normally, this should work now. Yep. Crusade morale increases by 10 to 15. Is this like all, all the time, or does this go down sometimes? Let's see. Let's take four days. Okay. Um, let's just say... This Crusader army. Could we just open this pass down there by killing this army? Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, probably quite good to do this. Let's kill the level four army first. Wait. Why can't we go south? The path of this location is unknown. No. Why? Ah, uh, because we. Oh, yes. <laughs> we went the wrong way down. Okay. <laughs> this is also. A way to lo lose time. <laughs> We'd have to go down here. Mm -hmm. So let's keep one day. No, 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 no. Let's manage the present. We have an engineer's workshop. 
Um, here is where educated engineers and architects make their necessary calculations so, the cons so that constructions project progress quickly and on budget. An engineer's workshop reduces the building construction by 10%. That's great. Only one engineer's workshop can be built in total. So, let's build some more. Um, provide a plus 10 bonus to energy for all generals. That's nice. Apothecary. Provides a plus 10% bonus to hit points for all trainable units in adjoining buildings. So, only one. Okay. Uh, Citadel increases the time of the siege. Hall of Glory. Hall of Glory reduces the cost of recruiting mercenary units by 5%. Mm -hmm. Over the long run, this is probably quite good. Hall of Strategy. All of strategy, strategy provides a plus one bonus to attack and defense, and two bonus to power for all generals. Mm -hmm. What does a hospital do? Provides a plus five bonus to infirmary size of all. Yeah, let's build a hospital like here. It's also oops. main stables, spacious stables, and to house battle. Main stables allow recruitment of and provide weekly recruitment growth for mounted scouts. We have mounted scouts. We could do mounted scouts. Plus one to attack or plus one to defense. Uh, let's build some main stables. Our final society launch provides a plus one bonus to attack AC and saving throws for all mercenary units. Hmm. Sanctuary. Sanctuary increases energy points income by four. Yeah, of course we'll do this. Like here. Training grounds, uh, watchtower. Watchtower provides all allied units within the fort's area of control. A plus one bonus to probably not so interesting. So we could do an apothecary. Or, hmm. Smith. 
be so wait what's that that's a smithy and that's an arsenal so probably we should do an arsenal but it's too expensive let's buy some more material points No, this was stupid. Um, can we just... Sell it again. And put it here. <laughs> Three here. <laughs> Increases the number of available mercenary units by. Hmm. Of glory. Plus one to attack AC and sitting first for trainable units. Hmm. Let's build that here. Okay. That's this one. Let's move out. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay, let's go He's coming around. Let's build the army then, and then call it for a day. I didn't look at this first. I mean, this is really, I don't think that this will be too bad. Just to be rid of them. So these are the strongest troops there. But not really strong enough. Hmm? 
Okay, that's that. This wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, my dear friends, daily income increase, energy points times four, yay. Okay, how about this level six army there? These are six giants and what's six ash giants and ten fallen knights. A hundred and seventy points and four or moxes. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think that they are too big yet. Okay, but we will look at them next time. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye.